What's up? I just got this 20 by 30 metal print of Terrier in the mail and I am putting it up for sale in my store. And uh, I obviously wanted to get a print before I actually tried to sell it. And it's really, really awesome. Photo of Terrier in Oslo, Norway in 2008. And I wanted to give uh, the story behind this photo before I just go, hey, you should buy this photo of Terrier jumping these people in Oslo. It'll be sick on your wall. I posted it on Instagram before. People really, really like it. Um, this was a very memorable contest for me. I, uh, I hit up Terry and I'm like, hey man, do you mind if I sell this photo? And he's like, yeah, what do I get? And <laughs> I'm like, well, let's collab all, you know, a non-disclosure agreement. But uh, we came up with an agreement and now it is for sale. And like I said, I wanted to give the story behind the photo. It was taken in 2008 in Oslo, Norway at the Oslo ski jump, like those long ski jumps. Terry emailed me you know, February, January, February of that year. And I was like, hey, man, you want to come to Oslo and hit the quarter pipe with us? Maddie Swanson says, you're riding quarter pipe all right. I had done a quarter pipe in Aspen earlier that year. Um, I've hit a lot of 30-foot quarter pipes. I've done okay at it. So I was just sort of like, yeah, I kind of have to go. Terry is emailing me to go to Norway. So, you know, I don't want to blow that one, which leading to another story back in 1999 he emailed me as well right when I got my first email set up and I'm like no there's no way Terry is emailing me what's this he's like hey man you want to come to Lofoten Norway for one I think it was the first Arctic challenge and at that time I just become a pro snowboarder didn't even know how to like book a plane ticket or I don't even think I responded to him I didn't even really know how to respond to an email yet because I just set it up so I totally blew that so now 2008 I'm like oh yeah I'm going for sure thanks to Alex Pashley I had a travel budget and Gary Milton and I fly over there and we go straight to the ski jump in Oslo and we're dropping in on the landing of the ski jump and the ski jump has meter markers all the way up so you can kind of tell where you're dropping from and you would drop at like the 400 meter mark and then you work your way up to like you know 395 390 and you point it from there point it from there go bigger and bigger and as we're doing this Terry is going lower and lower and lower and going higher and higher and higher than all of us. And I'm just like, what's going on? And it was like the true magic of the sprocking cat. Like he's that much better than all of us that he can drop lower and lower and lower and use his body and ride transition that much better than us and twalk off the takeoff and go bigger. So this is him doing a McTwist, chicken wing McTwist, proper chicken wing McTwist over everybody. I think Kevin Pierce won that contest he was in his prime killing it he did like an alley-oop back seven this high um shane pospisil andy finch Peytu pironen they were all killing it but anyways on this trip too i was just getting into snowboard photography and i had read that you know you bring one lens and one camera on a trip and you'll get really good at using that lens and i brought a 50 millimeter lens on, with a canon 20d which was a crop sensor like at 1.3 or something so not the best lens for shooting action photography at all and there was a car that would pick us up down here and drive us to the back to the top of the uh the quarter pipe so we could drop in again so we didn't have to hike and every run i'd run over to my camera bag and take my camera out or just my bag and take a photo and put it back in get in the car and go back up and this happened to be terrier on one of those loops and i remember him getting back in and we all got in the car and drove back to the top and Probably really one of my more memorable contests ever. I didn't do very good in it at all. But being able to travel to like Scandinavia and hit a quarter pipe in the Arctic. I don't know if it's the Arctic, but it's pretty close. But either way, awesome times. You should buy this photo because it's an, uh, of one of the most legendary snowboarders ever. I have two goats in my list. One of them I'm not going to mention. The other one is Terrier. And it wasn't from the 90s. He actually grew on me in the you know the 2000s and the later 2000s because his snowboarding aged so well he just kept getting better and better and better and uh, I don't know he's 49 or 50 now and could probably still go this big on a quarter pipe so yeah that's the story behind this photo I'm posting it on my store you know if you want to buy it I'd appreciate it or if you don't if you just want to enjoy the story uh, you can do that as well thank you for listening Maybe one day I'll have another snowboard for, uh, photo for sale. For the most part, I just shoot elegant sunrises and sunsets. And uh, I've sold a few of those, but I'm going to try to get more into snowboard photography. 
over the next few years because you know I ride a lot of powder and I ride a, I do a lot of snowboarding so I need to uh, take a break every once in a while and pull the camera out. <laughs>